another one of those uh, remote control valves. Well, we are now. That's where we got to go. Way over in there. We're going to repair those. up here riding on this road. What do you know about that? Two people. Isn't this a beautiful sight to look at? Just looking people, enjoying the view. How about this, huh? There you are. They're really enjoying it. So far, so good, huh? Are you just nice? <laughs> there you are. Beautiful. On the other side of the road. Oh boy. Kind of dark looking, but it looks all right. There's a beautiful view every direction. Oh yeah, no matter where you look. And there's the road we got to go over yet. We pulled off one side here. They're looking around, enjoying it. <laughs> got a picture of them walking away. Very lovely people. There's Dorothy in the bus, looking out the window. Won't get off. Get out here and stretch her legs to see what's going on. Oh well, whatever. But look how dirty the bus is. Enjoying themselves. <laughs> uh huh. Carrying on the conversation. TV talking about the pass and they run over and it was snowing like the devil up there. Okay, going down here, around some curves, and there's the pipe line over there. Like going down Pike's Peak, she said, yeah. <laughs> the only Pike's Peak for the work, she said. I'll have to agree with that. Going down Pike's Peak was really something nice. Similar anyhow. One thing the difference, there was no trees. <laughs> oh boy, that. You are steep. Steep green. These are low, low gear right now. Plus, they were going. I hear them talking to one another. Explaining what it's like. Wow. <laughs> 
Look at that birch tree. Mm. Going down great. How oh, about this? Real nice. And we gotta go way over in there. Oh boy. Is it this time? Beautiful valley. It was way over there. And I believe it is. But there's the pipeline down here. So, yeah, we're going to make a big turn down here and go off in that direction. I think. Yep, no, we are. I love the east landscape. Look at that over there. I don't know what that is way over there. Maybe that's the pipeline. Yeah, whatever. Looks like it. Elliot. Oh, they're going on the Elliott Highway now, huh? End up in Manly, uh, Manly Hot Springs. Oh, uh, okay. It's a purple tree. I don't want to be there. I don't know. What do you know about that here? What do you know about that? This is an old homestead. There's stuff in it. What do you call it? He said a spruce tree. A spruce tree. Whatever that is. No strangers here. Just friends we haven't met. What do you know about that? Albert's store. What do you know about that? It's your wild around here. This is a homestead building. That's what this is. It was a homestead and she turned it into a little business. Cars go up here. Look at that, huh? Pretty neat. There's a slide upstairs and grass growing and weeds, whatever, growing on the roof. It's a, just something. And gasoline, two dollars. And they pump it out of that barrel. And there's the attendant. Two dollars a gallon. Whew. Homemade fish, a uh, duck pond. What do you know about that? There's duckies down in there. <laughs> Homemade pond. Oh, I'll be darned. And look it out over the area. There's just something. That must be their home down in there. Yeah. Big geese. Look at them down in there. Stuff with every so often that shows the amount of greatest amount of um, two cups of salt, a cup of brown sugar, a cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and just a dash That's where she lives. Greater. He keeps oh, it. Been he there. says mine stays between 34 and 36 He's down in the hole there. I'm going to find it. Refrigerator. What that means they're going to get full and just die to save There's me the trouble. <laughs> But I had a great garden and I was just so excited about it. I went out to water. I had left, I had just been weeding. I left my <coughs> gate open evidently. Went to get my watering can, came back 15 minutes later, gone. <laughs> now if a goat came from next door and ate it or if a moose came by, I don't know, but it took about 15 minutes to just level the whole thing. Oh, that's um, a shame. It'd be an old trapper's cabin, a prospector. And he decided to give it up. And usually the government, when they see one of these things out there, abandoned, they'll burn it down. Well, these people here decided to take it down piece by piece. They numbered all the logs, brought it down here, and re reassembled it and put it all back together again. And that's where that young lady lives, is in there. This is her home for the summer. <laughs> what do you know about that? <laughs> house. That's where she goes and she says she reads papers and books and magazines. <laughs> How about that, huh? There you are. <laughs> There's a stove they put wood in, make a lot of smoke, and back there is their smokehouse. That's where they smoke their meats. What do you know about that? Here's a brave man. He's up here on the motorcycle. How about that? Greetings from Troy, Alaska. Great. Where are you from? Puna Bay. You mean you went to Puna Bay on that? Yes, sir. Go visit some friends. Holy smokes. I'm thinking about coming up here on mine, but I don't think I'd come up here with mine. Mine's a big Harley dresser. I think it'd be too big. No, you don't want to get your Harley dirty up here. No, I can see that. <laughs> How about that? Puda Bay on that motorcycle. 
I don't know where he got his gas from or how many miles to the gallons he get because there's 100 miles, 300 miles between gas stations. But he did it.